All right, day one in Alaska. Here we go. Couch surfing has worked out pretty well so far. Um, staying here. This is a couch that I have to sleep. I've got all my random stuff, and apparently I'm going to be leaving it all here, going off on an adventure for the weekend. Showed up without any plan whatsoever, and here we are. It actually kind of worked out. So, yeah. It's 11.14 in the morning. So early. This is outside in Alaska. The wilderness, as they call it. I don't see any grizzly bears or polar bears or anything, or penguins, but that's because there's no penguins up here. North Pole. And Rubik's Cubes. Oh. This is a random person that I'm staying with, Carlene. Like, you're driving a car, and you lean over. Yeah, Carlene. Hi. 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 She is letting me stay here, but she's going camping out in the wilderness to some crazy hippie fest where they have their drum circles and all kinds of other random shenanigans. And nakedness. Yes, all the hippies get naked and get in their hot tubs made from coal carts and fire underneath. So they literally boil you like lobsters while you're naked. And then you get out and you dry off by drum circling around fires and doing all kinds of other illegal things. Um, I'm going to be hopefully skydiving this weekend instead of being at Crazy Hippie Fest. So wish me luck. I hope the weather's good out there. I hope I can find a ride. I hope I can find a place to sleep tonight um, and tomorrow night and the next night and the next two weeks. So uh, we'll see. It's worked out pretty well so far, like I said. So... And this is day two of Alaska. Here we are, we're about to head out to the drop zone. It is a beautiful day, this is going to be awesome. We're going to be flying around up in this sky just a little bit. It is 10.19 in the morning, bright and early. This is <coughs> Stephanie, she's Hi. coughing. I stayed with her last night, Suzette, who happens to work out in these mountains where we're about to go jump out of a plane. I was like, hey, do you know anybody that could let me sleep on their couch? Like, because uh, and drive me to the drop zone in the morning. Flying to Alaska with no mode of transportation is kind of interesting. There's no public transportation around here. Everything is really far. There is a bus. Never mind. I like you. I'm sorry. Anyway, so she's driving me out to the drop zone. She's a skydiver too. We're going to jump out of the plane together. We're probably going to just pull high, jump out, pull our parachutes at 10,000, 11,000, 11,000 feet. Okay, so we're going to jump out, pull our parachutes high, freeze our butts off. Just going to enjoy the view for a little while, chase each other around, maybe crash into each other a little bit, hopefully not. And alright, so I'll see you at the drop zone. almost at 11 o'clock in the morning. The clouds are kind of sucking, but there's hope in the distance. We just finished doing our waivers and all that stuff here. We're driving out to the drop zone, which is right over there, under the nice, beautiful sky. I hear they've already done one jump today at 11.24. Um, just found out that the, the hot chick from the Ice Road Juggers is here. She's learning to skydive, and that is really fantastic. So I finally get to meet a famous person and check that one off the list. And you guys are going to get to meet her too, hopefully. There's a pony in a truck.
it is pretty thick grass. <laughs> Woo! I think I jumped this one. Oh, no. We're just going to go with some training for you guys and everything like that. Alright, so Stephanie and I right now are about to do a rodeo. We're gonna try, she's gonna ride me down. Wish us luck, we'll see how it goes. She's never done it. I've done it like five times. We'll see how it works. It hurt really bad. The ice. Uh, my lips are bleeding. <sighs> Feels like they are. Let's go. Driving down to Taco Bell and I had butterflies in my stomach and I was trying to get the taco down, but as soon as the door opened, I just climbed right out. And then um, and I just I kind of paused a little bit on the strut. I was like ready or prop ready set arch, and then I was like. But, but, okay, oh, okay, I'm ready. So we just got done skydiving in Alaska. I have my glasses on. That's kind of lame. Um, she's tired. She packed all day. All day. She's packing. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I jumped twice. She jumped twice. You've probably already seen the footage of the rodeo, which was awesome. It was pretty cool. And now we are looking at a rainbow. We're looking at a beautiful rainbow. It's actually fading right now, and I didn't even see that. Let's just hold on to my Oh no! It is kind of fading, but it goes up to infinity and beyond into the clouds, which we were just in earlier. Absolutely gorgeous, breathtaking sky here in Alaska. If you don't appreciate this, you have no soul. You are soulless, and probably a redhead, because redheads have no soul. That's what I heard at least. Sorry if I've offended any redheads, it was actually a joke. <laughs> it's like a zoom lens, but it's really cool. Wow. Oh, baby! We were just jumping about five minutes ago. It's nice and sunny out in the distance, except for this amazing hail. <laughs> we are in Alaska. Ah! Where are we going? <laughs> I don't know if you can see anything, but those are the northern lights right in front of us. Nice full moon. I'm sure you can see that with Jupiter underneath. See out the sunroof. Oh, it's all around us now. The plasma from the sun is reaching us. A puppy!